Hi, this is Christine. Welcome to Scrap and Rabbit. I have another journal. This one is an extra large journal and I made this with an old Better Homes and Gardens binder that I found in my thrift shop. I've made, um, I've recorded the steps that I did to assemble this journal and I will include a link to it in the description of this video. It's a multi-part tutorial and it shows you how I do it, how I did this starting from scratch. This is a final product. I will be putting this in my Etsy shop eventually, so I'm just going to do a, a video that shows the album or the journal in more detail. For the closure, I just attached this seam binding. It's quite a large album, so I didn't bother making an elastic. The covers are very thick. I didn't want to punch any eyelets in there, so I thought I'll just attach a ribbon. I got this from my seamstress friend, Carolyn. Thanks, Carolyn. As you can see, all of your, your seam binding will be put to good use. So I'm going to open the journal. But first, I'll show you the cover. I had this um, book with images or like old uh, painted images and I did use them in a smaller journal. I really liked them. In the book there were some large images too so I thought I'll make them, I'll use them for this large album. And like I said this binder came from um, a thrift shop so if you have a look next time you're in there I've seen lots of these Better Homes and Gardens old style binders so you can probably pick one up for not too much money and make yourself a nice a nice journal. I thought this would be great as a home record book as well. And so I left the Better Homes and Garden title on the side and I just attached a little piece of paper here with a little heart to write a title or a date. Now I attached some uh, some lace to the top cover and I have some trim along the edge and then I love the image of this binder. I inked around the edges to make it look old although it already is old. Um, I like the image on the back so I didn't want to cover that up but I wanted to tie it in with the front of the journal so I added a little bit more lace there and some of the same trim. I've got a lot of journal jewelry on here. I've got little pins. There are eight tabs and each of these tabs has a charm and a bead of some sort from some vintage jewelry that I had. And then these are just attached to ribbons so they're removable. They're just pins and you can remove these. On the inside I have a pocket covered in lace. Very simple and I didn't do any stamping in here. I didn't add any other embellishments other than the charms because whoever gets this can decide what they want to uh, to do with it. And in the video I also, or the tutorial, I show how I use these, these um, cutouts to insert the pages in the binder. So I'm going to include some extras so that whoever gets this can add some additional pages if they like. They can either stitch them on or glue them but it's all explained in the uh, in the tutorial. So each of these dividers has an image from my other book and the nice thing about using this Better Homes and Gardens is I've got a whole stack of flowers, vintage looking flowers that I can use in other journals so definitely I'm keeping that. So I mixed some of the flower images with some of these old antique looking photos. So inside each of the dividers there's either a pocket or a paper bag. I made a double pocket here for tucking stuff in and these are the pages that I inserted. I stitched them to the little strips because I don't have a punch that will punch these holes and I wasn't about to start punching them one at a time. So I used my sewing machine but you can also glue those on. And I attached a variety of papers, lots of tea stain. Here's an envelope and some memo paper 
and these are some of the images from the original Better Homes and Gardens book. I've got some index cards in there. And here's another divider. So you can write your titles on there. And then I've got a paper bag attached inside here and you can tuck something in there. More papers, envelopes. So you can cover these up. And here's another image from the uh, Better Homes and Gardens book. I've got a little little key here. And a bead. Oh, I forgot to show you this one. This is a little butterfly. I don't know if you can see that. And a little bead. Here's another image on the in the market. And I've got an envelope that I made that opens and you can tuck some items inside. Another beautiful image. And this is a little bottle opener and a bead. Train scene. Here's a pocket where you can tuck something in. So there's a lot of room for writing. An owl and a little clover. Another double pocket. Another envelope. And this is a ship's wheel and a bead and I also attached some sheets that are scrapbook paper these images were so pretty and this is a novel from the Skyline Hotel that's when we were in New York City Here I've got a pair of sunglasses and a very pretty colorful bead. I like this page. Guzzling, boozing, guzzling and carousing after the uh, at the fair. And there's another pocket here. such pretty scenes and then here there's another pocket and you can also attach something on there attach uh, more pockets if you like and there's a horse and then there's the back I didn't put anything on the back you can always put um, I guess a photo there if you like or attach an envelope or, or make a, a, a pocket with a flap or, or whatnot. So that's my journal. I hope this gives you ideas for your project and like I said next time you're in the thrift shop have a look and see if you can find one of these old style binders and they make awesome journals. Have a nice day and happy crafting. Bye!